Right then, let's get this model finished, shall we? I'm going to try and do this as expediently as possible. Um, so far, we've got the stock to finish off. Now, at the moment, we've got a whole load of triangles on the inside here. And to be honest with you, we really want to get rid of those. So what I'm going to do is just very quickly run through and just bang get rid of these. If I do ignore back facing, I can also use my paint selection, which makes life a little bit easier. Just double check we haven't highlighted anything else by mistake, which, oh, look, we have. And there we go. It's sometimes actually quite a good idea to just deselect that as well. And a couple in under here. There we go. Right, so we've got rid of those. Now let's delete. So that's good. That's working for me. I'm going to come to the bottom of this list here and I'm going to take off the use norms and so I'll just double check that just to make sure we're going to get we're going to get something like that okay that's fine I'm now going to use a symmetry modifier uh, which I've already put up here into the into my shortcuts list here so I'm just going to apply symmetry modifier and you'll notice that if I isolate this object that the symmetry modifier has done something rather strange so what I've got to do is from the axis constraints here I'm just going to keep flipping it until I get something that looks sensible well I really think that's about as sensible as I'm going to get so I'm now going to move the mirror there we go and that's looking a lot better we're now beginning to get something that we can perhaps work with although we have actually completely destroyed the trigger guard Hmm. Well, there's there's kind of a philosophy here because I actually quite like that width. I think that's looking quite good. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to completely destroy my trigger guard. Um, it, I'm not saying that you have to do this. I'm just saying that I like the width and I think that to save myself a lot of time and effort and, and, and bollock ache, I'm just going to be done with it and get rid of it. So we'll right click on this and convert it back to an editable poly. And I suppose I'm going to have to go about putting a spline in. Let me just get rid of this. Oh, there you go. Well, look, we've got a spline in there already. So let's move you up a little bit. And uh, I guess if I take this vertex and move him up a little bit, this becomes difficult because we have to say which one of these is going to come around as the trigger guard. Yeah, that does me. Okay, so we'll say all four here, an actual five. I'll tell you what, this is a neat trick we can do. Let's try this one, shall we? If I select all of the edges here, and I use my connect tool, we'll click OK. That gives me a set of polygons inside and uh, now that starts to work a little bit better okay and I think it's going to come around to here so in actual fact I want this set of polygons to do the same so let's connect them that's good now I wonder what would our bridge tool do let's just try this I have no idea what's going to happen here. We're going to bridge it, obviously. So that's going to work. Bonus. 
do this a couple of times. Um, bias doesn't really do anything. Taper, no, that doesn't do anything either. Nah. It's a toughie. Um, let's turn these all back to zero. Because if I do that once more, I guess what I could do No, don't like it. Bunch of us off. Right. These two will do exactly what we did before. Extruded along the spline. There we go. Job done. And just to make life difficult for ourselves. I'll rotate that face round, maybe pull it down a little way to here. And then I will bridge between those two. Why does that have to happen? All right, let's do... There we go, that sorted out all those problems, nice and neatly for us. We've got a trigger guard that now sits inside, I'm just going to go full screen here for a moment. We've got a trigger guard that sits inside and everything's actually starting to look quite reasonable. The only thing that obviously isn't looking reasonable now is the rest of the rifle.